There are calls for counselling services that try to change someone's sexuality to be banned. The Prime Minister has called it abhorrent and promised to outlaw what's known as conversion therapy, which is opposed by the NHS and major professional bodies in the UK. But organisations promoting it insist it's ethical. Our Ireland correspondent Emma Vardy has been speaking to one man who attended these sessions but described himself as broken after years trying to change his sexuality. Perhaps X Factor is not the place you'd expect to spark debate about a controversial therapy. But the Maltese contestant Matthew Grech made headlines on the show saying he was ex gay. It is our vision and mission to raise an army of formerly gay... He's now a director of the charity Core Issues Trust in Northern Ireland. Welcome to X Out Loud. And running a campaign which promotes the view sexuality can be altered. I felt like something was deeply wrong with me um, and that I needed help. Gareth is a qualified medical doctor in Manchester. But growing up in Northern Ireland, he began counselling with core issues and later other groups over four years. I was about 14 years old when I first became aware that I was attracted to men. Um, and within the community that I was a part of, it was very difficult for me to talk about that with anyone. And I actually opened up to um, someone at a, a Christian convention they had known of someone that would be able to offer uh, therapy. What was your mindset going into this type of counselling? I just knew that I needed to get rid of this part of myself and really I went in wholeheartedly 100%. Pretty soon after it began, my mental health took um, a drastic turn for the worst. There's a huge pressure for you to stick with it and to keep trying to try harder uh, to delve deeper into the problems that might have caused this. Eventually, Gareth ended the therapy. Because He's now are, openly uh, gay and in a relationship, but it took several years, he says, to move on. I felt really, really broken. There are other people out there who are going through the exact same thing. Holding on to ethical values and... Back in Northern Ireland, the man at the helm of Core Issues Trust, Mike Davidson, rejects the term conversion therapy and says they support people, like X Factor's Matthew Grech, who want to leave same-sex attraction behind. Is it fair to try and change someone's sexuality when there's clear examples of where this doesn't work? Well, it's not us trying to change anybody. People seek us out because they hear of people who are going in a different direction. For someone whose feelings don't change through this process, isn't there the risk that you leave them mentally much worse off? Well, that is a concern, and that's part of the advanced informed consent. What we are promoting is an exploration of sexual fluidity. And what we find over a period of time, when behaviours change, feelings begin to change. Hey everyone, another week... LGBT campaigners argue the existence of the therapy at all reinforces prejudiced views that it's wrong to be gay. Boris Johnson said the government plans to carry out a study into so-called conversion therapy before bringing forward new laws to ban it. What the research would say is that actually we cannot change somebody's sexuality and all those professions have released statements to say that practitioners should not be um, aiming to do that. But it isn't clear how the practice will be defined and where to draw the line. Emma Vardy, BBC News.